In this lesson, we're going to work with parameters, which are variables that are passed to procedures. In the procedures for my scene, you'll notice that I have run, which is standard, perform my setup, perform generated setup. These are all created by Alice. Then I created the horse response and the count procedures. To open them once they're in place, we can edit horse response, which I created, and we can edit count, which I created. Let's look at the two procedures that I created first. We're using the count, which will be basically replicating if you ask a horse to count to 10 or add 2 plus 2. What we're going to do is a pass in a number and he's going to strike the ground with his leg as many times as the number that we pass. So we've created count number which is a parameter. A parameter is a variable that gets passed to this procedure. Horse response, this one we're passing a boolean. Our answer is boolean and if the answer is true the horse is going to nod his head by moving it forward and back. If it's false, he's going to shake his head left and right. Now from our run procedure, what I have happening here is our character is asking the horse questions and passing it different responses. Let's take a look. So that passed true. That passed false. That passed true. This call, it's calling a different procedure. And that passed four. So I want you, for your homework, to create a program that has custom procedures. And for each procedure, you're going to pass it a parameter. So you could use Booleans. You could use strings. You need different custom procedures. Each procedure needs to be passed a parameter, and you need to do a flowchart based on the example from last week where I showed you how to flowchart for procedures which are often called predefined processes or methods. Procedures and methods sort of are interchangeable depending on the program that you're using.